home to the magnificent and majestic Hawaiian Islands. These lands are rich with tradition, unspoiled natural beauty, and the aloha spirit. I'm your host, Lisa Gleave. Join me as we explore the Big Island. On this episode of Bikini Destinations, we travel to Kona on Hawaii's Big Island. The Big Island is an unrivaled expression of the power of nature. This is the youngest island in the Hawaiian chain and by far the largest and still growing. This Pacific paradise is home to the world's most active volcano, Kilauea, and the tallest sea mountain in the world, Mauna Kea. The waters along the coast are calm and clear, providing perfect visibility of green sea turtles, exotic fish, and other marine life while snorkeling and scuba diving. The Kona coast is quintessential Hawaii, and despite the worldwide influx of tourism to the island, it has maintained its proud heritage and Polynesian charm. Well, Hawaii has always offered vacationing beachgoers more than ample sun, surf, and sandy beaches, the Kona Coast features so much more. Come along with our adventurous models as they experience Kona and the magic of Hawaii. Let's meet our very first model all the way from Montreal, Canada, Kaylin Olson. Hi, I'm Kaylin Olson. I'm from Montreal, Canada. I've been a model for about 15 years now. I started pretty young and I'm still doing it to this day. I don't think I can give it up just yet. kind of person that's a little adventurous. I like to push my limits, I guess you could say, and I'm always looking for something new and exciting to do. But I'm also, you know, pretty laid back and some people think I'm shy, but when I get in front of the camera, I think, I don't know, I'm not shy in front of the camera. <laughs> This is my third time shooting a Bikini Destinations with Casey Bennett, and it's such a pleasure. He's so professional. He's so great at what he does. He's actually, I think, a genius behind the camera. He just has a really good eye for art and photography, and um, he's a great director and directs the models really well, and I'm just happy to be here and shooting for him. I've shot Kaylin uh, over the years, probably like 12 to 15 years, something. I've lost count. She's great to shoot, and uh, her eyes are really what gets me going. It's just her blue eyes, and, and now she's got this dark hair to go with it, so it's pretty awesome. And we shot the first day at the beach where she was in a window on this old building, and then that looked great. But then we had her on an outrigger canoe, and it looked pretty crazy good. That was nice. Sometimes the shooting isn't so easy. For example, today we were shooting in front of the lava and we're basically on a cliff and all you can think about is falling. <laughs> but you know, you have the photographer and he's, you know, directing you and you have the guys lighting and everything and it's not all, you know, pretty. It's behind the scenes, it's it's hard, it's hard work, it's hard for everybody. It was a long hike, it was hot. The equipment is heavy and we're laying and we're sitting on lava rock, which is the most uncomfortable thing ever. But you know what? It's all worth it. In the end, end results are, are worth all the, the pain and the sweat and all the hard work.
favorite part of this whole trip was getting to go up in the helicopter. It was one of the things that I've wanted to do before I die, and Casey made that dream come true for me. We took off and did some scouting, looking for some waterfalls. We found a really amazing waterfall. It was the most breathtaking views that I've ever seen in my whole life. Like things that you see on TV and in the movies, but you don't actually get to experience. I'm in love <laughs> with Hawaii. Hi, my name is Rachel Bernstein, and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. This is my first time in Kona, Hawaii, and it's absolutely beautiful, and I'm having a great time on this island. My passion is in modeling, but I'm also really creative. I have a degree in fine art with a graphic design concentration, and I decided that when I was in my 20s, I didn't want to be sitting in front of a computer and I'd rather be out seeing the world, and modeling really gives me that kind of outlet. Um, but I'm also a really creative person and needed to be doing art in some form, so I chose makeup, and now I'm also a makeup artist. Most of the modeling that I've done is a lot of catalog stuff, a lot of print, and doing the Bikini Destinations show it's really opened me up to working in front of a video camera, which I had never really done before. You just kind of think about it and do what feels sexy and natural to you. Everybody loves working with Casey Bennett, and there's a lot of reasons why. He is an amazing person, number one. He's just such a sweetheart, and he is easy to work with. He communicates well. He makes you feel really comfortable, and he's fun. I mean, he takes beautiful girls to exotic locations, and you get to do all kinds of different activities and experience things that you've never experienced before. And not only do you appreciate that, but that's things you'll never forget. Rachel, I started shooting first. She certainly knows how to move. She could pretty much be in a parking lot and look pretty good. But when you put this in the background and her looks and the beauty of this beach with the sunset behind it, it's pretty awesome. This has been a really interesting episode. We've been to all different kinds of backgrounds, everything from lava rocks to waterfalls to the ocean. And with that variety and the different types of models that are on this show, it's a really good contrast. And everything's really beautiful here, so you really can't go wrong. Dolphins out there, we're going to check those out. So, what we can do is slip into the water real quietly and allow them to approach us, and I try to mimic their behavior. Um, I don't go right at them, I don't swim hand over hand because that's kind of an aggressive motion. I let them come to me, I kind of merge in with whatever direction they're going. And um, if they're acting all silly, I'll dive down, twirl around, act like a goofball, and a lot of times they respond to that. If they're being real mellow, I keep my hands to my side, I become really mellow as well. We took a boat out where we found wild dolphins and to me, I mean, yeah, you can go and see trained dolphins, but to see dolphins in their own habitat and in their own world, it's so awesome. I mean, they're swimming by the boat, they're jumping, they're called spinner dolphins, they actually jump and spin. And I think maybe we saw 20, 30, there were schools of them everywhere. It's 
I couldn't believe it. I, I was like, I mean, who doesn't love dolphins, right? While we're filming Bikini Destinations, I was told that we were gonna go on this dolphin dive where we're gonna go into the middle of the ocean on this boat and just kind of jump into the water. And I was just so freaked out because I'm so not really an athletic person. And um, I saw some dolphins in front of the boat and they were so close to us and they looked so pretty. And so I decided to put on my big snorkeling mask and just jump in. And it was really cool being so close to them. It was like I was hanging above them, like maybe 20 feet on top of them, and I could just see them right underneath me, like maybe like 20 of them. But it was really exciting just to see them because it's like this live animal. You're not like in a tank. You're not in some enclosed place. It was just open water. It was really amazing. boarded before in Newport Beach in California. It was a bit of a challenge, I'd say, um, getting out there in the open ocean. Um, a little bit rougher <laughs> than back home in the canals, but I loved the way it made me feel. I felt closer to the water. It's a different perspective than in a boat or diving or snorkeling. So, um, and it definitely gives you a good workout, more than people think it does, because you're on an unstable surface and your body's constantly moving and balancing. The outrigger canoeing was very cool. Never done that before. It's a big tradition here in Hawaii. It definitely is a team effort. The boat was beautiful. You know, it's this big wooden boat, and it goes so fast, more than you would expect it to. I'm a big water girl, so it was a great experience, and you definitely have to try it because it's one of those traditional things here in Hawaii. Let's take a moment to get to know another Bikini Destinations model, Jackie Dawn. My name is Jackie Dawn and I'm from Long Beach, California. People meet me and they kind of think that I can be this like really outgoing person and I like to be like, you know, the center of the tension and honestly I'm actually kind of shy and I'm kind of like a closet geek. Like I really love reading, I love music, I love writing. I think more than anything what I do is just people watch and just observe everybody and really just kind of hang back. When I first met Casey, I knew that Bikini Destinations was his show, but I didn't know that he films everything. He is like really in the middle of it all, the center of it all. He doesn't just stay in his room and just like, you know, let everybody else do all the work. He really is the biggest creative aspect of the show. This is my first time shooting Jackie, and she looks like she lives here, so it's perfect. And with her long hair and uh, her looks, it looks like she grew up in Hawaii. So we got some great shots all over the place. We got into this helicopter and um, we kind of took a tour of the side of the island. We, we saw these huge waterfalls. It was just unreal. They were just enormous. And then Casey said, oh, we're going to shoot near a waterfall. So we end up landing the helicopter in the middle of this field and we're hiking for like 15 minutes till we get to this three-tier waterfall that we're posing in front of. It was just crazy. It was like something out of a movie. You know, we were like in the middle of this big field, like this meadow, and then we walk to this exclusive location and it was just really, really breathtaking to see. What I will remember the most about this trip is getting to know so many different people. These people do really, really amazing things. They go underwater with crazy animals like manta rays coming out their face. They're just so hands-on with everything. And I really just admire the way everyone can deal with, you know, the crazy things that nature throws at you, whether it be, you know, hot melting lava or really, really tall cliffs or really, really deep water. It's like they're just so fearless. Now be nice and toasty. 
Yeah. You make a hot mermaid. Is your mask working okay? I'm ready to go. We did a night dive, and this was my first night dive ever, um, with manta rays. And I can't even explain the words of how amazing it was. Going down and then waiting for them, because they have to light the bottom up, it tracks the plankton, and the manta rays come around. They told us they could be up to 13, 16 feet wide. And the ones that came around us were about 13 feet wide. And there were a couple times that the master dive had mentioned to us, that they would come by and, you know, touch our hair. And there were a couple of times I got a little too close for comfort. Um, Kaylin was next to me and she was holding my hand because a couple of times they came at us and their mouth is very wide. And we noticed that it wasn't going to move. And we were already on our knees. So it was one of those matrix moves where we literally grabbed each other's hand <laughs> and kind of went back because it literally touched our mask and we kind of were a little overwhelmed. But it was, it was in awe. The manta ray dive in Kona is legendary. People come from everywhere to see these manta rays at night, and it's just something you've never seen before. Just being in the water at night with nothing but you know a spotlight and having these beautiful, majestic creatures like fly by you. It's breathtaking, it's exciting. We're so thankful that the manta rays have come around here. We've been doing this dive since 1984, and the word got out, and it's been in magazines. It's been rated as the top night dive in the world by some magazines. No matter how many times I do that dive, it never gets old. It doesn't take more than one manta to make an awesome show, and the girls did great. 99% of the divers come up from that dive with a big smile on their face and say, that was the best thing I ever did. Oh, sorry, honey. First night dive ever? Absolutely insane. Oh my God, that was the most <laughs> amazing experience. Words alone can't describe how cool BD is right now, Bikini Destination is. model from sunny Southern California, Michelle Goulet. My name is Michelle Goulet and originally I was born and raised in Indiana and now currently living in Corona Del Mar, California. I just competed in the USA IFBB competition. Got my pro card, went to USA Finals last year, and went pro and bikini fitness. So that was a personal goal for me. Didn't know I was gonna go that far, I just kinda did it as a goal, and then it kept going further and further. So that was a big thing for me as a mom I'm in my 30s, so. And it's a challenge for me, so I like the challenge. I've been working with Casey Bennett for over a decade, and he just knows how to shoot. Looking through that lens, he makes me come alive. I feel sexy, and he gets the best shots of me. I mean, I can't ask for more. Great direction, great photographer. So it's been an amazing journey shooting with him. I've shot Michelle for the last 12 to 14 years. I used to produce Hawaiian Tropics, so they're international, national pageants. So that's where I first met her, but now she's a fitness model. She's so buff, but she also looks Hawaiian. So it's great shooting Michelle here. When I shot Michelle in the lava flow field, so it was a good contrast with her because she looks Hawaiian with the beauty of her. She had like this metallic suit on. I think it was with a contrast with black rock in her hair. Pretty good. The best 
thing that I love about Kona, Hawaii, I mean, obviously it's so relaxing and there's nothing like Hawaii, but it's the adventures that we've all gotten to go on and there's so much more to see. You know, we've done some of them that I'll never forget, but there's lots more to see here in Kona. But definitely the manta rays were hands down the best. Insane. <laughs> The first day we shot on this uh, remote beach that we had to walk very far to, a little pond was behind and these great coconut trees and a, a rock and we just, the, the way it was set up, we got some great shots there. The light was awesome. And then we uh, of course shot uh, when the volcano was happening, so we got the lava coming down behind her. It wasn't easy to get that shot. We walked, it seemed like five miles to get there through the lava. It took everything we had and all the people we had to make that shot work, but I think it came out awesome. We heard about this beach and drove over here and uh, it was kind of overcast and looked like it could be raining on us any second. And then the, the God helped us out and we got this beautiful sunset. When the sun gets under those clouds like that, it just looks awesome. The light was kind of marginal most of the day, but now it's working. Somebody was nice to God, because it's, look at what's happening now. This is what we dream of. We've done so many things. We went scuba diving with manta rays at night. We went swimming, snorkeling with dolphins. We went paddle boarding. We went on an outrigger canoe. We had a helicopter that went around the whole island, landing on the lava flow. And we also landed on a field where we climbed down and shot where the waterfall is. That was pretty awesome. We got beauty shots all over the place. We went to a luau. I don't know what else you could possibly do here. I think we covered pretty much everything. We've walked very far. I think we've walked 100 miles since I've been here. Totally exhausted, but I think we got a great show. It's the end of another beautiful day here on Hawaii, and time for us to say goodbye. See you next time on Bikini Destinations. I always wanted to be Angelina Jolie. I've never seen that was hot. <laughs> Aloha. The manta ray was probably the male because he's flirting with us. After <laughs>